This year, the team chosen is All Systems Go. Make a difference in your ISO transition. And that's why 2015 revision share with us. We have to address organization risk and opportunity in a structured manner. I think the key word here is structured manner. But if you want to make a difference in your transition, do something beyond ISO 9001 because that will make you sustain and be relevant forever. Not doing it for the sake of certification. So don't just take it lightly as another position, but it's an opportunity for us to make a difference. Again, I want to thank Neville Clark for helping us in a lot of the processes and in the training in making sure that our people understand what it's all about. We always point to our ISO certificate and it's given us that tremendous recognition both in Malaysia and in overseas. Now, we went through all this, for all this. Do you think it's worth it? I think it's worth it. It's very worth it. So the good leaders itself hails a point where they try to see that, okay, this is the direction that we are moving. But that is never enough. In especially in big organization, multi-layers organization, how would you expect the leaders to actually see in every aspect on every level? You need accountability. Every function, every level needs to have certain accountability to make sure that whatever they do is aligned to what the top management wants. Ensuring that top management is now aware of the bigger role that they are expected to play, the new requirement in the standard on leadership. So the desired benefits is really not just about meeting your customers' requirements for now, but sustained success of the organization. We underestimate emotions. People's emotions to change people's why they actually resist, why they don't want to do something, and what they feel about ISO. Itu susahkan orang, or itu senangkan orang. Remember to engage, remember to empower. When I say engagement, remember the C, C, I. So in ISO 45001, your target is with these external issues and internal issues, you're supposed to determine what are the issues that can affect the intended outcome of the Osh MS. And the best part of the new standard now, even QMS, internal auditor also have to be competent, yes or no? It's an excellent standard. Whether it is difficult or it's simple, it really depends on how the organization implements it. Kita sayangkan sistem, or we want the system, uh, we work with the system rather than uh, we just follow ISO clauses. We actually are the one who uh, propose to our top management to go ahead with the transition first. Okay, not our bosses to tell us, okay, you have to go first. We want to be the first to certify, and we don't want to be the last. Don't fight change. Don't fight reality. Embrace change. Embrace reality. So make your ISO transition change. Instead of just a risk, make it into an opportunity.